So for a while, you may have heard that YouTube was going to get rid of the dislike button, right? They were running all types of tests and trials to see, you know, should we be getting rid of this to get rid of targeted attacks? This was right around when James Charles was going through his ninth controversy of the year and he was getting dislike bombed. I think that's what bothers me most about this is just like why it all came about. It wasn't because small creators were reaching out to YouTube like, hey, my video is getting unfairly dislike bombed. No, it was because James Charles did another fucking oopsie and they're like, no, Oh, well, maybe we should do something about this because everyone just keeps dislike bombing his videos and it's becoming a trend and it's like okay if you fuck up as a youtube creator and i'm talking genuinely fuck up I'm not, I'm not saying people just disagree with you on politics or some stupid shit i'm saying if you fuck up and you're posting videos or you're posting a video like an apology video that shit you have every right to get dislike bombed and boo fucking who as a creator you'll get dislike bombed for like the next three weeks and then your just analytics go back to normal la di da all the brands still work with you you still get disgusting ad rev like who cares that's so frustrating it's like who gives a shit we all know it's gonna go back to normal and nothing's gonna change a la david dobrik a la james charles and i'm not saying keep these guys canceled permanently or some dumb shit like that i'm just saying the fact that you're going to this much work to try and hide the dislike button because of these stupid fucking things it's like what's the point so youtube put out a tweet earlier this year we launched an experiment making the dislike count private based on what we learned the dislike button is staying but the count is now private to creators to help prevent targeted dislike attacks to learn more about how we reach this decision check out the blog or watch this video which is the video i'm going to watch right now i saw the first minute and uh, just just watch this with me you may have seen a while back that youtube announced it was experimenting with making dislike counts private to only the creator of the video now if you're like me you were surprised by that i mean i've always thought seeing the number of dislikes on a video helps us know as viewers if it's a good video or not if it's a helpful tutorial or not but unfortunately research teams at youtube have found there's this whole other use for disliking a video that i had never experienced as a creator and you may not have either. Apparently groups of viewers are targeting a video's dislike button to drive up the count, turning it into something like a, a, a game with a visible scoreboard. And it's usually just because they don't like the creator or what they stand for. That's a big problem when half of YouTube's mission is to give everyone a voice. So earlier in 2021, YouTube now, let me pause there immediately. I want to reach out to a thousand creators and I want to ask them if they've ever experienced this. Is it possible that maybe one of your videos, you just see a bunch of dislikes and you don't understand it. You're like, why the fuck are these all here? I don't get it. Why are we changing such a massive part of YouTube because of a few bad actors? Isn't that, doesn't that literally go against what YouTube has said in the past? Like when the whole, uh, what the fuck was his name? Matthew, some bullshit. The dude who started talking about child videos on YouTube being super inappropriate and and like oh it's so easy to drop into this it wasn't youtube like oh we're not gonna back down because of a few bad actors isn't that the same logic compared to something like twitch hate raids right that was something so prevalent that you had so many creators talking about it so many voices going out there so much so that they there was an there was organization for a day to not stream to try and get twitch's attention there has been nothing like that on youtube's end you haven't heard the voices you haven't heard people speaking up about it i haven't and it's possible i'm completely in the dark about this it is but it, just in comparison it seems like you're bringing this problem up here, off of what demographic? Who are you speaking to? Uh, let's keep watching. So the update from YouTube is that the dislike button is staying, but the dislike counts will now be private. Now, a few common questions we saw from the initial experiment. First, without a public dislike count, how can viewers tell if a video is worth watching? Again, I kind of had this question too, but it turns out that while viewers might use the dislike count to give them a sense of a video's worth, when the teams looked at the data across millions of viewers and videos in the experiment, they didn't see a noticeable difference in viewership, regardless of whether they could see the dislike count or not. I don't ever look at the fucking dislikes when I watch the videos that I know I want to watch or that I'm interested in, so on and so forth. The only reason I give so much of a fuck about something like this is, number one, it's this weird, it's, it is this quasi-censorship, but just just like completely separate example i watch a lot of tutorial videos on youtube when i have a problem when i have an issue i go to youtube right away youtube answers everything for me when i'm clicking on videos and i see a massive dislike ratio i immediately think okay either this guy is not going to answer my fucking question or he's going to take forever to do it so then i go to the comments i see if they back up my initial thought and then i'm like okay cool save me watching eight minutes of this moron let me move on to the next and then it just helps me filter through videos let's talk about a bad actor up 
uploading a video that is deceptive, that is a lie, and people are watching it, and they don't see a dislike count, so they have nothing to go off of. You don't know if that person's gonna go to the comments. I know I read comments, but I've also been with people that never take a peek down there. They just watch the video for what it is. Say for example, even with like a TikTok video, right? You watch a TikTok video and it tells you this crazy life hack. You go to the comments and it's immediately dismantled by everybody in the comments. But it's possible that no one goes in the comments and there's no fucking dislike on TikTok. So you immediately think, oh, well, there must be some validity there. If they posted it on the internet, sounded convincing enough. You have nothing else to go off of. The dislike bar is so visible immediately to everybody. Next common question. If creators can still see the dislike count on the back end, how's that any different? They can see it if they look for it inside Studio Analytics under the Engagement tab. But overall, it's much less likely to cause stress and embarrassment if the count isn't visible to the public. If there's targeted dislike attacks, the creator is not thinking, oh geez, oh no, other people watching the video are gonna see that I'm getting dislike bomb. No, it's strictly for the creator. What kind of ass backwards logic is that? If you're dislike bombing me, you're hurting me. I don't give a fuck that Joe Schmo watching the video was like, oh, this guy's getting dislike bombed. It's about me, right? Isn't that the point? And one more common question, is this because YouTube Rewind got lots of dislikes? No, although there are some teams internally who have learned the hard way what it feels like to get lots of dislikes. Now, this again is about protecting- That's a very, ooh, that was a, mmm. That's kind of weird, you left that in the video. Why'd you leave that in the video? That was a weird thing to say. Was that the smoking gun we were all just looking for? That could have very much prompted uh, what we just did. But no, it had nothing to do with it. All right, so that's the update. I hope it doesn't cause too much frustration. Honestly, I think you're gonna get used to it pretty quickly and keep in mind other platforms don't even have a dislike button. So consider that. Thank you, and I hope you're well. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about this entirely, right? And uh, I mean, he's right to a certain extent. We're gonna bite the bullet and just move on. Nothing's really gonna change, right? Uh, it's annoying because I'll see a dislike ratio and I'm not watching a politics video or something where there's gonna be an increase in dislikes no matter what. Maybe someone's talking about someone's favorite show and I see more dislikes than usual. I can usually be like, okay, got it, whatever. I still wanna watch the video. He mentioned other platforms don't even have a dislike button, but I think they would benefit from a dislike button. I think TikTok would benefit from a dislike button. Twitter is kind of a weird platform for it, but it's. I think it's important that when you see something, when you see a, a piece of information go out there or a piece of content or anything like that, that may influence your thinking or impact you in any kind of way that isn't just completely brainless entertainment. I think it is important to go look at the comments and kind of see what everyone else thinks about it, what their opinion is or so on and so forth, because sometimes you just get something completely one-sided or you just get deceptive information or there's information left out or you know i i know i can be talking specifically to a real tiny subgenre of content here but i understand why he says this is gonna drop down targeted dislike attacks because yes when someone sees a dog pile it's very fun to join the dog pile if you click on james charles video because he's been because everyone's been talking about it and you see there's 96k dislikes well over his 22k likes you're like well, fuck it i want to jump in on that fuck you james charles I, I think this is my main point i think although it may affect the severe rate ratio that a creator might have because not as many people will join in on the dog pile. I still think if your video warrants or if the creator warrants those dislikes at that point in time, they're still going to feel the power of them. They're still going to be there. I don't think James Charles cares if he has 20k likes and 100k dislikes as compared to 20k likes and 40k dislikes. I think they both sting just as much. I think it's kind of fucking stupid, but life goes on, right? This isn't ruining my day. I think it was just kind of something interesting to talk about because I didn't think they'd actually do it, but they fucking did it. There we go. Big nuts and guts, baby. You know what time it is. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like and sub. And uh, my name is Mr. Gigi and I am out. Next level.